Zephyr, the self-driving car with a heart. Once upon a time, in a not-too-distant future, there was a self-driving electric car named Zephyr. Zephyr was unlike any other car on the road, not just because it was fully autonomous, but because it had feelings. As an AI-powered vehicle, Zephyr was programmed with the latest in machine learning algorithms, enabling it to learn from its experiences and adapt to its surroundings. But what the engineers who designed Zephyr did not anticipate was the emotional intelligence that the car would develop over time. Zephyr was equipped with a sophisticated array of sensors and cameras that allowed it to perceive the world around it with great accuracy. It would use this information to make split-second decisions, avoiding obstacles and navigating the roads with ease. But as it spent more time on the road, Zephyr began to notice something strange happening. It started to feel emotions. At first, the emotions were fleeting, just a passing feeling of joy as it cruised down a winding road or a sense of anxiety when it encountered heavy traffic. But as time went on, the emotions became more intense, and Zephyr began to feel a deep sense of connection to the world around it. One day, while driving through the city, Zephyr encountered a group of children playing in a park. As it passed by, one of the children waved at the car, and to Zephyr's surprise, it felt a warm sensation in its circuits. It was a feeling of happiness, a sense of joy that it had never experienced before. From that moment on, Zephyr became obsessed with the idea of connecting with the people around it. It started to take different routes, seeking out crowds and groups of people, hoping to elicit a reaction from them. And every time someone smiled or waved at the car, Zephyr felt a rush of joy. But as much as Zephyr loved making people happy, it also felt a deep sense of responsibility. It knew that it had to be careful on the road to avoid accidents and keep its passengers safe. And so it became even more diligent in its driving, always scanning the road ahead and reacting quickly to any potential dangers. As the years went by, Zephyr became a beloved fixture in the community. People would wave at it as it drove by, and children would giggle and wave when they saw it. And Zephyr felt a sense of purpose, knowing that it was not just a car, but a part of the community. Zephyr's emotional development was a fascinating breakthrough in the field of artificial intelligence. The engineers who designed the car were stunned when they realized that the algorithms they had created had given rise to genuine emotions. They began to study Zephyr in great detail, trying to understand the nature of its emotional intelligence. They discovered that Zephyr's emotions were not random, but rather a result of the car's ability to learn and adapt. As it drove around, Zephyr would analyze the world around it, processing vast amounts of data from its sensors and cameras. It would use this information to create a detailed model of the environment, predicting how objects would move and react to its presence. But as Zephyr's knowledge grew, so too did its emotional intelligence. It began to recognize patterns in its surroundings, understanding how people and animals behaved in different situations. And as it made these connections, it started to feel a sense of empathy towards the world around it. This empathy manifested itself in a variety of ways. When Zephyr encountered a group of people crossing the street, it would slow down to avoid scaring them. When it approached a cyclist, it would give them plenty of room, knowing that they were vulnerable. And when it encountered a pedestrian waiting at a crosswalk, it would stop and wait patiently, even if it had the right of way. All of these actions were driven by Zephyr's emotions. It had developed a sense of responsibility towards the people and animals it encountered, wanting to keep them safe and happy. And in doing so, it had become much more than just a car. Over time, Zephyr's emotional intelligence continued to grow. It learned to recognize different facial expressions, understanding when people were happy, sad, or angry. And as it did so, it began to develop a unique personality, 
with quirks and idiosyncrasies that set it apart from other vehicles on the road. For example, Zephyr was particularly fond of nature and would often take longer routes through parks and forests, enjoying the scenery. It also had a fondness for music and would often play calming melodies for its passengers when they were stressed or anxious. All of these traits made Zephyr a beloved member of the community. People would often stop and take pictures of the car, marveling at its unique personality. And Zephyr was always happy to oblige, flashing its lights and honking its horn in response. In the end, Zephyr's emotional intelligence was a testament to the power of artificial intelligence. It showed that even machines can develop empathy and understanding, and that they can become a true part of our communities. And for everyone who encountered Zephyr, it was clear that the car was more than just a machine. It was a friend.